All right, um, it's, what's the date today? It's the 21st of uh, November, uh, 2016. <laughs> it's funny, I made a vlog during my trip in Belgrade and I was saying something like September when it was actually October that time, which is weird. So that won't make it to the vlog. <laughs> But anyway, I'm back uh, from my very successful trip and um, came from Europe, particularly in uh, Belgrade, Serbia. If you've seen like the previous videos, um, but I'll be posting more videos. It's more like getting the time to, um, to edit them all together. Uh, they're not really technology related videos but more like a travel vlog of what I've uh, what I've seen and uh, where I went when I was there uh, because I can't really post like you know work related stuff but anyway I'm back uh, but unfortunately I will be going on a, another trip probably in a week's time seven days from now uh, but this time I'll be going to Sydney and I will be uh, two days there, two and a half there, then uh, we'll be spending two weeks in the Philippines. But this is for, um, this is for vacation. Uh, well deserved vacation I believe because um, been, it's been really full on. Uh, was in Europe spending like some days for like 12 hour shifts, just making sure I try to cover everything. But now I'm back, so I have a week to, uh, you know, a week to study on a couple of stuff and do a couple of projects, then relax a bit, so I'll be back ready for end of the year and the beginning of the year. You'll also notice that I, that I have like a different setup at the back. Um, I got now three monitors. Uh, two are, yeah, one is still in vertical and uh, yeah and you'll notice there's like a big kitty coin there it's like a gift that I received from the guys there's like a story behind it but uh, I won't talk about it in this vlog and I also got like a new toy I also have a GoPro 5 which I will be using during my trip in the Philippines we'll be going to we'll be uh, going beach hopping and all that but anyway what have I been busy with um, aside from work I've been doing a couple of side projects and one of them is I've been studying Python um, for those of you who are, who are new to the vlog uh, I started off as a programmer really uh, did C, C++ Visual Basic, I had to unlearn that in Java. Uh, now I'm thinking of going back to programming, not that I'm leaving networking, but so that I can get into um, network automation. That's why you have this other window right there. That's actually, I'm running Ubuntu uh, desktop and Ubuntu, I'm running Python 2.7 uh, where I'm labbing up, labbing up a couple of uh, Python scripts uh, using NetMiko as well. Um, so I will be making good use of those routers and switches eventually. I'm just trying to get a feel again of programming. So I've been doing a couple of JSON scripts and um, yeah, because the reason I'm getting into that uh, work will be deploying, AC, we will be using ACI and APIC controllers, and that's gonna be really, uh, really exciting times for the company. Uh, we'll be handling, or I will be getting involved with deployments of Nexus 9Ks, uh, Leaps, Leap Spine uh, architecture, and um, I can't tell you details yet because I'm just about to have a meeting with my manager um, tomorrow. Uh, 
but definitely whatever new things I will learn I will probably vlog it in my blog site which is running config which I will be putting right here and um, and I'll be putting a link at the bottom but anyway uh, other updates CCIE um, since I have been traveling so been away for like 27 days I will be gone again for another 18 days um, so definitely I will be moving my exam the original date was Feb 13 2017 but I will be moving that like somewhere around May uh, which would give added pressure to me knowing that uh, once you pass your written exam you only have like 18 months to um, to make your first attempt so doing it in May that would be like the no, that will be like the um, close to the 18 month, um, uh, 18 month um, period that was given to me, and that would give me roughly about two attempts uh, within the two year period that my my written exam is good for. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So I just put a. Um, a comment at the bottom if I'm wrong but that's how I understood it uh, from the time you take your written exam you only have like 18 months to make your first attempt then you have roughly like two years um, to do your to pass CCIE within two years if not you get to do the written all over again which is going to be sad but you know um, you gotta do what you gotta do so so by the time I get back uh, third week of December I will be doing some labs again uh, doing all those INE and uh, my other lab book which is I forget <laughs> anyway so um, yeah we'll be we'll be doing all that again and Another thing that I would like to discuss to you guys, um, I just received an email from uh, one of one of my friends on LinkedIn. Um, I do get to have emails once in a while, and I will be answering them through the through either through this vlog or I'll be answering you through through the chat through LinkedIn or Skype. It's just so happened that this is very interesting, but eventually I'll make a vlog about it. And he said something like, um, and I do experience this at work as well. Um, people have been asking me like, Dylan, what has more weight? Um, is it the certification or is it experience? Um, honestly, bar none, it's going to be, it would have to be experience. Now let's, let's do a comparison. Uh, what would be an advantage it would the best obviously the best would be if you can have the experience and you have the certification back yourself up or like the other way around you have the certification and you have all these years of experience um, working for that certain technology um, the reason that I'm I want to discuss this topic because there's been you know, aside from getting e questions uh, through emails, LinkedIn, um, and at work as well, uh, it's it's an interesting topic. Then I'm I'm sure the other um, YouTubers out there, or people like Jeremy Chowire from CBT Nuggets, he also um, answer that question. Uh, but for me, honestly. Um, the earlier you start, you can't beat experience with certification. You know why? Because, you know, with certification, yeah, certification is good if you're starting in the field um, because it will, I would tell my students, it will, it will be the one that will set you apart from the guy that's sitting right next to you. 
So when I was teaching back at TAFE, um, I'm like the certification evangelizer. I would encourage people to just, you know, once you, once you're done with a course, don't stop or don't settle for saying I have a cert or I have a diploma or I have a college degree in let's say in whatever field. Uh, I'm just being specific for networking because that's what I that's what I currently have. I did not stop there, um, but in fact, I actually went for my certification. I went for my long overdue certification uh, when I was already here in Australia, and I've been in the IT industry for for more than a decade now. It was if I can only turn back the clock, I would have done the certification way back when I was younger, way back when I was, I can't say back when I was in the Philippines because I wouldn't have the resource to make that happen. Maybe if I was like back in the US roughly more like 10 years ago when I should have started that certification journey. Um, but then again, you know, it's never too late. So I'm, I'm a good proof that it's never, it's always good to start early, but it's never too late to start something. Um, so that's why I just did my certification when I was here in Australia. So the good thing about getting certified is, you know, you get yourself noticed. Uh, there's, there's something about getting certified that people, especially if you're, if you either you're new to a field or, or if you're changing careers, uh, it will just help you stand out. Uh, if, you, if you look at my resume, because what, if you pass a if you pass a certification like like your CCNA or your Brocade or your VMware, you can actually use their logo and you can put that on your resume, which is what I did. And I always have this rule, and I've been sharing this to a couple of my friends and colleagues. Normally, since HR people would, they go through like thousands, sometimes like thousands of, of resumes, and they wouldn't have like the time to go through each one of those resumes, especially if, if you, I don't even know why some people would put out like five page resume. Um, normally, I would just do like a two page resume in the first half on page one the first half uh, that's your it's like your one minute elevator speech what are you going to put in that first on the first page on the first half on the like the first half of your resume to get notice to be able to be pulled out out of that hundreds or thousands of resume to be able to stand out and that's where your certification is going to be valuable. Um, so that's, I think, one of the advantages, again, one of the advantages of having a cert, being certified. Uh, you get to notice, you get, you know, you get to put your foot on the wall, uh, on, on the door, and, and it tells people that you're for advancement. You're, you're willing to learn like whatever technology is out there um, then again you have the experience so I think the advantage or the advantages of having the experience is of course you know you, you you've been there done that you can actually get uh, leadership positions you can actually advance the chances of you advancing in your career uh, if you're within the same company, uh, it's much higher compared to when you're coming into the company when you just had your cert. Uh, again, this is based on my experience. I don't know about other companies or other experiences. If you want to share that, put that in the notes or like leave a comment. Um, yeah, I don't know anybody who got promoted just because they got their cert. Um, mostly you would get promoted because of the experience you you know the experience you have and the things you've gone through like the battle scars you 
you've accumulated throughout the years in networking um, in which you know people would only follow um, leaders who've been there so you know they, they, they look for guidance and I wouldn't look for guidance from a person who just got everything out of a book so and that's actually uh, to be honest that's actually one of the reasons why eventually I got out of teaching because don't, again don't get me wrong I love teaching it's a very novel job I did it for like more than five years um, again that's the reason why I probably got out of teaching is I want to be I want to be out there I, I want to go beyond the labs uh, you know everything that I learned I want to put it into production um, so yeah that's why I'm now like a network engineer uh, solving people's problems um, and yeah so that's 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 probably what else uh, yeah leadership leadership uh, position um, Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, if you have anything to add, just put it in the comments. Uh, it's been oh, it's already a 16-minute video, as I can see from my camera. So I'm just gonna stop here. Uh, so just the reason I'm putting up this video is just gonna give you an update where I am right now with my CCA journey, what's been up, and uh, what I've been doing. So again, um, if you have any questions, just put it in the comments or you can visit my blog site. It's runningconfig.com. Uh, it has all of my experiences when I was doing my search from CCNA to CCMP, uh, my brocades, and I got like a couple of articles there, uh, things that I've learned through work and my thoughts. Um, yeah. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this um, if you like this vlog please don't give me a thumbs down I beg you but that's fine I get to learn from it and subscribe if you want to and until next time see you guys